Hello, Shakespeare lovers! Welcome back to another segment of Thinking Shakespeare by Barry Edelstein. Uh, today we are moving on to chapter 4, which is entitled Acting is Arguing. And the, the long and short of it is the way that Shakespeare's characters convey their wants, needs, desires, and otherwise communicate is through the art form of argument. Right? And uh, we're not talking about bickering or uh, brawling with words. Uh, we're talking about argument in the rhetorical sense. Shakespeare, as a boy, would have studied rhetoric, as many boys his age did. And uh, argument in that sense is, and I think Barry says it best here, argument, uh, it's about articulating a point of view, stating a position, laying out a line of reasoning, and building a convincing case. So this is how uh, Shakespeare's characters convey their soul's desire to the audience. And it crops up everywhere. So uh, how do we, as actors, argue in the Shakespearean sense? So the first and most important thing, and this ties back into the last video, is you have to understand what you're saying. In order to understand the argument, you must understand the words that compose the argument. Now, how can we check our understanding? What tools are available to us? And Barry's got a great tool for you, the actor. It's called paraphrasing. So you take your chunk of text, you break it down into manageable chunks, and you begin paraphrasing it. So you bring it into a modern sense. Now, how detailed should this paraphrase be? And the answer is extremely. That Paraphrase needs to be accurate in its uh, capturing of uh, modern definitions of old words. It needs to capture the tone and the sentiment with which the speaker is approaching. So like if it's a flippant speech and they're making jokes, you should be making jokes in your paraphrase. If it's deadly serious and sad, you should be choosing uh, connotate words with connotations that reflect that, right? This is bringing it into a modern sense to get it into your body as a modern reader. So you do that highly detailed one, and then you see if you can make it shorter, right? Uh, demonstrating a mastery of the context is making it shorter. So you paraphrase it, your paraphrase a little bit. And then Barry recommends you do it a third time. So that you end up with 12 lines of Shakespeare, paraphrased down into, let's say, 10 lines of modern text, which is then paraphrased down into five lines of a paraphrase of a paraphrase. And then your final paraphrase is just two lines. And in that final paraphrase, you should have the core essence of your character's argument, the idea that they're trying to express, how they support it, and how they conclude it. And in that way, you can decipher Shakespeare's text to give you, the actor, very clear marching orders on how to handle that 12-line passage. It's an incredibly useful tool. Use it. Now, as a brief uh, caveat, how am I breaking down this argument? So there are important words in Shakespeare. But, B-U-T, is an important word in rhetoric, and is therefore an important word in Shakespeare. Therefore is another important word. So keep your eyes out for buts and therefores, and that's a great place to break up your paraphrase, because you have one thought, and then Shakespeare is going to move on to that next thought with a but or therefore. If there's not a but or therefore, you have to use your instincts as a reader to figure out, okay, when is the argument changing? When am I saying something new? That's it, everybody. That's paraphrasing, as taught by Barry Edelstein, and uh, I think this is a good place to bring it up. Uh, buy and read this book. Uh, so I'm doing very brief synopses. Barry packs this book just chock full of excellent examples. He walks you through exactly what he's talking about. In this one, he, he pulls a, a, a big monologue from Richard III, and it's like 56 lines, and he walks you through step by step what he means by paraphrasing. It's an incredible process to watch unfold. You should watch it unfold for yourself rather than just listening to me. But do keep listening to me. Why not? Okay, everybody, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to be recording in front of you, and please do not forget, go!